Hey everyone, welcome to Jensen DIY. Today I'm going to make a vegetable oil heater. Now, how am I gonna do that? Well, I got a couple little water heaters. These are 2.5 gallon water heaters that I pulled out of a couple different places a few years ago. I'm going to get rid of all that plastic on there and inside there's a little steel water heater and I'm going to try and make that into a small vegetable oil heater. All right, so uh, I'm going to start with this one here. So let's get going ripping this thing apart. Okay, so I got it flipped up on a workbench here. Probably an easier way to do this, but why not use brute force, eh? All right, so that's what it looks like. That is not what I was expecting. I was expecting something to be uh, rectangular, not circular. All right, let's get this up on a workbench. Okay, so we got our bracket on the back here that's welded on, mount the water heater on the wall. Uh, and then we've got our uh, cold inlet, hot outlet, TMP safety valve, temperature pressure relief valve would be our element, which we're gonna loosen these with a 10 mil socket. And there's your element. So I've got the areas I'm gonna cut out mark, and these are the air intakes, and then the chimney's gonna be here. some air and there it is okay so I uh, decided to not cap both of these I've got a 90 on here and this is going to be the fill pipe for the uh, vegetable oil okay so you just got your cap there I'll put a funnel in there and then I'll be able to fill you can see it's nice and clean in there these, these tanks are glass lined and then I'm just gonna cut this flange here and bend these up so this chimney will go on there and be fastened on and we're just gonna test this thing out today see if it gives off any heat and then on the back here i just fastened some legs out and put some stainless screws so it's the same level as the front bracket i think we're ready to test this thing out you can order this on amazon um this is what welders blankets are made of odor eaters uh, and shoes that kind of thing so i've got just these two pieces left and because this is a decent sized little heater i've got an inch and a quarter copper coupling and then these pieces here, I'm gonna double up and I'm just gonna roll this up nice and tight. This is your wick. Okay, and I've got it cut so it's a little longer than the coupling. Twist that in there. That's gonna absorb your vegetable oil and it's gonna wick it up into here. You just wanna cut that little excess off there. So that's our eternal wick. This should last a very long time. Okay, so I got the cast iron chimney on there. It's just a few feet. This would obviously go all the way up through your roof or out the side of your building. Okay, you could probably use chimney pipe too, but you need to figure out a way to fasten it on. All right, so I got the funnel here. That's just gonna go in there. I got my vegetable oil. Now I'm gonna start filling that up. That's about half a liter there. Take this out, put that cap back on there. Okay, there's our wick going in. Try and set that up there. Push that into the middle, below the chimney opening. Okay, so you can see our wick in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and light that. Here comes the light. Take about five minutes for that wick to wick up the oil. But once that carbon felt wicks the oil up, it will just 
continually burn and you just have to keep adding more oil as you need it. And there is our vegetable oil heater with a carbon felt wick. And believe it or not, this metal is already starting to warm up. And there's looking down the chimney. But obviously you would want this piped to outside air because this is producing POCs, products of combustion, okay? So you gotta be safe and make sure that goes outside. This is just a test right now, but it does work. It's only been a few minutes and this is getting warm. I'm gonna let this burn for another 15 minutes and come back and show you. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and you can see it's burning nicely and the oil level has gone down a little bit. So it's not burning a ton of it and I can touch this, but it's very warm now. And the chimney is very warm too. So it is definitely giving off some heat. You know, this is just this style of water heater I used. If you try a different way, let me know. And you know, I kinda I kinda just built this as I went. Um, so like I say, it really is an experiment. But what it's all about is the carbon felt, being able to wick the heavier vegetable oil and continuously burn. I'm curious to see how long a carbon felt wick will last, but that's for another video. Right now though, I would say that this is a success. I probably won't install this in my shop, I'm thinking about doing a small wood stove because this obviously isn't as safe with these air holes, but I'm sure there's a different way to do this where you can allow air in to cause the draw um, so that the smoke goes up the chimney. It uh, looks pretty cool, you know. I may end up putting a coat of high temperature black paint all over here. Um, and uh, when I put the chimney on permanently, I would definitely use some high temperature silicone around when I place it on. And the cool thing about this is that if that coupling in there got knocked over, which I'll do, it's not going to ignite that oil in there. Because it's a heavier oil, it won't vaporize. So I'll knock this over. And you can see, it's not lighting it on fire. And you can just blow it out like a candle. How about that, eh? Works great. I mean, it gives off a fair amount of heat. You don't want to leave this going and unattended, right? You don't want to have it near flammable objects. The last thing you want to do is catch something on fire. This is not an approved method. This is just an experiment I tried. And it is important that you use uh, just vegetable oil. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure about other oils. So uh, it's just uh, the carbon felt really does wick a heavier oil. And that's what's so amazing about the carbon felt. I mean, they use it in welder's blankets because it's fireproof. And that's why I think that this wick will last a very long time. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great product to use for a wick. So you just gotta make sure you keep on adding the vegetable oil. <laughs> All right, well, if you try this, good luck. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll probably, you know, I'll probably get to that wood stove one of these days. So uh, if you like what you see, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.